Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. The phone number is 203-892-4119. My other site is HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back on the 6 meter amp probably in a day or two. I got the perf board for the bias diodes. I used Radio Shack board and I drilled the holes out for the diode leads. So. Another uh, thing I, I want to mention, on the Hardbox site, I'm going to add master kits for the SP220 style amp and the SP200 style and the variants of each. They will include new parasitic suppressors wound by me, series glitch resistor for the SP220 series and the, its variants. Um, meter protection diodes for the SP200 and 201 and and some other stuff. I'll have everything listed. Um, you know, mica caps for the SP200 slash 201 grids, uh, the grid loading resistors, and those small components will only be available with those master kits. There's been a lot of confusion. Some people when they order kits, they cross order between SP220 and 200s and you know, they could uh, I always like to verify. I always verify things. I've I've always caught it, and I've called the customer. I'm very, you know, I'm very on top of that kind of stuff. Um, so, time is money, right? So, anyway, I'm gonna go through this amp. It's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Needs a longer screw under the plate choke. One of the plate blocking cap leads. Actually, actually snapped. Replace that. Ground the grids right to the metal. I'll do everything I normally do. Remove the metal oxide varistor and the gas discharge tube if, it, if there is one on the board. I don't know if I think there is. Uh, I have the gas discharge tubes at the base of the sockets. Do the 10 meter mod. Needs new SO239s. Again. Here's the output. So I had it mixed last time. This is the output, input, output, input, output, input. So that has no grip. The input one has some. Has grip, but I always change both connectors from Max Gain Systems. I have a whole bunch here. Very new. Always new stock here whatever I use, except for the uh, carbon comp resistors and the other amps, they're new, but um, old stock. But with intolerance, they're stored in a low humidity environment. Very important with, with uh, those tubes. Oh, look at that, I just noticed something weird happened. It, well, it actually looks like it arced from the trace. I've never seen that over to the standoff screw. That is a first. Hmm. So, I'll have to maybe bridge that. Just, you know, you can say, oh, it'll still work, but let's clean that really well. So it doesn't happen again. And I'll have to clean the solder mask off. Whatever you call it. I think it's called solder mask or the mask. And bridge it. I might go the extra mile and put a plastic screw in, a nylon screw, just to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want when something's fixed. The motto is one and done. Okay, I'm still waiting on the band switch for the other one. So, okay, I'm gonna get to work and I will see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. <laughs> 